Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's recording. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. Uh, I'm trying to get this wig right. But anyway, as you can see, I'm in the garage today. Babe is cleaning it out and he's getting ready to rearrange it because yesterday, something exciting happened that I was not expecting. Um, but look, I got a new car. Y'all, I got a new car. So if you watch my vlogs, you may have seen my old car. I had an um, a Audi Q5 and I love that car, but the miles on it had ran up and it was a 2016. So it was time, it was time to, um, it was time for upgrade. And I took it in to get service because it was due for a service. And I was like, I took it to CarMax and I was like, well, let me just walk around and see what they have. Um, like I didn't go in with any intentions on getting anything. Um, so we walked around CarMax for a little while and I didn't see what I wanted. They had this car there, but the miles on it was like, were extremely high. And then the price I just felt like wasn't right for the miles and the year. It was older than this one. So let me show y'all my new car. I love it. It is so beautiful. It is everything that I was looking for. Like, it, it's perfect, it's so pretty. Let me show you. Only thing is right now, it won't fit in the garage the way that it's um, right now. The, the way that we have the stuff in the garage right now, it won't fit. So, here's my car, you guys. Look at that grill. That's my favorite part. LED lights. Well, my Audi had a lot of these same features. I'm gonna show y'all my favorite part in a minute my absolute favorite part the kicker this thing that sold me this car uh, look how beautiful that car is that's a beautiful car I'm not gonna show y'all my tag but I did get a um I got the 530i and it's the sport line so yes look at how pretty she is oh uh, do I have my key I don't even have my key it's locked sorry y'all hold on <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is what the key looks like. I know they changed up the style. And I got this from, hold on. I got this from uh, Leaf BMW. So after we left the car, I actually went to actual BMW dealership because they had a larger selection. And they had the car that I wanted. Um, so yeah, you don't need to use the key, just like the Audi, you didn't need to use the key, but you need to have it close by. Look at this. Look at this, this is my favorite part. Look at the color of these seats. <laughs> oh my gosh. So when you get in, hold on. when you get in, the um, the steering wheel adjusts. Hold on, can I sit this here? Only thing I don't like is that, like I don't have anywhere to put my camera now. My hair is not what it looked like in the house. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me show you the car. So, this is what I see when I get in. This a beautiful leather steering wheel. <sighs> this is a beautiful car. All right, so then you come over here and you have this um, touch screen and it knows that um, it's me in the car because it's attached to my keys. So I'm driver one and these keys are associated with driver one. So whenever I get in, it knows who's in the car. Um, here is the dash all the buttons this is just my phone mount that i stick in the cd player i was so glad it had a cd player just for this reason so i could put my my phone holder in there um these huge vents which i love the audi were kind of small um still push to start what i also noticed about this car is that when you put it like when you're driving and you step on the brake it automatically i want to say it turns the car off it either turns the car off or it parks the car so that you save gas. But I love this. Look at the stitching here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, I got the um I got the sport line. If you can see that. But yes, this car is absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Like all the way around. It also has like this light 
that goes around the trim of the car so at night you can change the color of the um the interior ambiance i'm getting these car seats out of here like i don't even want these car seats in my car i feel like this car is not for kids <laughs> so the car seats have to go but yeah there's a huge um vent in the back um i think audi had vents in the back but i felt like they were kind of small and the kids were always either hot or cold because they just weren't getting enough heat or air i'll drop my keys but yes y'all this car is so nice all right let me start it up so you guys can hear <sighs> it's so pretty the steering wheel just adjusted also stop got it also um when i put the seatbelt on and then start to take off like my seatbelt readjust like make sure that i'm safe <laughs> like it gets tighter uh, so you have this huge compartment here. I think this is a phone charging um, pad, but my phone won't fit in there. But it does come with a USB port here, two huge cup holders, the cigarette lighter here. Um, another thing that I noticed about this car, which I think is really cool, is that like to put the car in park, all you have to do is push this button. It doesn't matter where you are in here. You could be in drive, you could be in reverse. If you want to park the car, just push the button. That is so cool. And then it has a couple different uh, drive modes. So you can be in Sport, Comfort, or Eco Pro. Um, here's the park and brake. And then you get this huge dial which controls the, the dash here. So if you turn it, then you know you can change the dash as the buttons. You can also, it also turns this way. Push it down to select and you can pick different options here. I love this car. It has this huge middle compartment which the Audi had a very small one. Um, so you get another USB port here, a USB port. <laughs> um, and there's a little light in here. So at nighttime, you can still see everything that's in here. And yes, y'all, this, I have been blessed to have two of my dream cars in the matter of two years. Like I've had the Audi, um, which I've always wanted the Audi. I actually wanted the Audi, um, A8 but it's just way too expensive it's way too big for me like that's a huge car um but I just love the style of it I love the way it looks um and then my other dream car was a BMW so I actually wanted to get the BMW before I got the Audi but my aunt <laughs> she is known in the family for always having a BMW she's always had a BMW as far as I can remember except for like when she was young when she had like a Maxima or something but she has always had BMWs and I didn't want to be a copycat. So I ended up getting the Audi, which I absolutely love. But this BMW, it just drives so much smoother. Like you, it feels like you're gliding on the road. It is so nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. And it has so many features that just make it so much better. Like mm, the car is amazing that's so pretty like i don't want the kids in my car what is this thing i didn't even see this oh that must be just to release the head got this huge um sunroof my audi had the panoramic sunroof so i'm gonna kind of miss it but i felt like the panoramic sunroof it made like a creaky sound like whenever you went over bumps or um like it was beautiful it let in a lot of light um, but I felt like it made like weird noises like whenever you went over a speed bump or whenever you drove into like a drive uh, driveway um, yeah it made like a creaking sound so yeah so this is the car guys also has some um, steering wheel control so this one is for cruise control and then this side you can control the radio you can um, pull up things on the dash let me see so if you go to if you press move you can uh, access the Bluetooth or satellite radio oops turn that down uh, radio so you can do a whole bunch of different things and then there's volume of course oh and another thing that I like about it is that you can talk to your car so I think Audi had it too but I never used it so this one the guy showed me how to use it um so you just push this button and you say wherever you want to go and it will pull up the map on the screen and show you directions how to get there and it will talk you through it so I love it 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I can say that enough. It also has this extender so you can pull this out and make it more comfortable behind your knees. Also, this chair, it has a bunch of different controls. So it feels comfortable. Like it feels like the chair is like hugging me in all the right places. So that's another plus. Only the only, like the only downside for me is because I'm so used to being in an SUV that it sits kind of low for me. Like I raised the seat all the way up and I've lowered the stern wheel, um, but I still feel like I'm sitting way too low. So I may invest in a pillow. <laughs> I may invest in a pillow for my seat. I'm not sure yet, but I've been able to drive it without any problems. So I, I think it's probably more of a just getting used to being so low coming from being, you know, so much higher up in a, um, and an SUV but y'all I love this car I love everything about it get this huge um, light panel up here so yeah babe is cleaning out the garage like I said he's gonna move all this stuff I think he's gonna move it on this side or either in that room back there um, so that when I drive in I can pull up further because this car is too um it's either too wide or too long for the garage and the audi geez please the audi set up higher it was taller and slimmer so it fit perfectly but this is shorter wider and a little bit longer so just gonna have to make some adjustments and i am happy overall like this is this is perfect and i just want to say thank you to my husband who has always been like he's been my He's been my everything like that man is amazing he makes sure that i have not only what i need but what i want and that's just hard <laughs> like it, and it's not even like material things it's everything like emotionally physically mentally like he's that guy and i'm so blessed to have him um Y'all got a little bit of a glimpse of what he's like when he was talking to Jeremiah in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. He gave Jeremiah um, a heart to heart. And a lot of you felt that. A lot of you felt that. I got a lot of comments saying it. You know, they were crying. My mother texted me. She said, y'all got me crying at work <laughs> watching that part of the video. Because a lot of, you don't see that. Like, you see it on TV. Um, but, yeah. He's just, he's a great guy. And I appreciate him. <clears throat> and I know he's going to watch this. So, babe, I love you so much. Thank you for always being supportive. Thank you for always having my back. Thank you for making sure that I'm good. Like, no matter what. I appreciate you, babe. Love you. All right, y'all. Alright, so I got more space, so let's see. Let's see if it fit. Huh? Come in and I just realized that I haven't eaten anything yet and 
I kind of feel like I have been like unintentionally intermittent fasting. Like I haven't been doing it, but I haven't really been hungry in the morning and I find myself late in the afternoon um, looking for something to eat. But um, I'm a small girl, but my stomach is a little bit of a problem. So ever since I had my kids, my stomach has never gone back flat. So lately I have been loving juicing, but it's not just your regular juicing. This is my all-time favorite machine as of lately this is actually it's a juicer but it's a i want to what is it called like um i'll put it on the screen i can't think of the name of the type of machine that it is but it juices like never before this is how they actually make those fresh pressed juices so i'm about to show you guys how it works it is an amazing investment. I love this thing. And this food, or well, these vegetables and fruits and vegetables, will have me feeling full at least for a good couple hours. So this is basically going to be part of my lunch. So basically I have some mint here, a couple of slices of apples, some carrots, some celery, some blackberries, some grapefruit, some orange, and a little piece of ginger back here. And that's what I'm going to uh, make my juice with today. And um, I would usually have like some spinach or some kale, but I ran out. So I gotta go to the store and get me some more. But basically just plug it in, turn it on the twitch in the back. And what I love about it the most is that not only does it make the juice really uh, quickly, it gets all the juice out and it's quieter, much quieter than your regular typical juicer. So let's go ahead and see how it works. Love this thing, y'all. Let me lower it. I want you to pay attention to how much juice you get out of one piece of fruit or vegetable. Let's go with a carrot first. And these are actually, that's the pulp of the carrot, so all you actually get is the juice. So it's like a pulp free. Oh, guys, this thing is amazing.
All right, so let me show you what I got. So you saw, hold on, you saw uh, all the fruits and vegetables that I used. I got 400 milliliters. So that is gonna be enough for me. Oh, and another thing that I really like about it is that it has a separator because you know how like when you juice, it has like the froth on top. You can see it here, but it has this separator here so that when you pour all of that froth, stays in the cup so let's get a glass <clears throat> let's get a glass and see what it looks like so here we go So here's my juice and I will say that so far I've made one of these drinks um, every day for like the past two weeks and I feel amazing. I haven't had one yet that tastes disgusting. So cheers. Let's see. It's so good y'all. It's so good. It's so refreshing. It's so flavorful, full of vitamins, full of minerals, um, very healthy. I can definitely taste the kick from the ginger. I can taste a little bit of the carrots, but I mostly taste like the citrus from the orange and the grapefruit. It's so good. <laughs> hmm. ah, cheers. My battery's getting low. I'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? We are just leaving Costco and we're getting ready to load up this stuff in the car. We got a bunch of stuff. I really like these um, 